Today we're going to do something a little different than normal. We're checking out an unboxing of Disney's Villainous. So guys, you know that I love board games. If you've been here for any length of time, you know I love Monopoly, but I definitely love any board game really. Specifically, this one is a Disney board game called Villainous. This is a fairly new release and I picked it up just the other day. So let's do a quick unboxing and take a look at what's inside. I wanna start off by showing you the box. I love the fact that Maleficent is on the front and it has this really awesome scroll work letters that are actually kind of um, metallic or shiny, so they're reflective. The box is soft. It's kind of like a fuzzy feeling almost. Um, so you have to ignore the fact I have already played with it. So it is a little scratch. You can see there's a little damage right here in the corner uh, where I scuffed it. But I really, really wanted to show you the box because it's so cool to look at. So once you open the box, you get to decide which villain you want to be. It does include this really big instructional book. Um, I will tell you, you will want to read it cover to cover uh, because there's a lot in it. The other side is the actual front of it um, and it shows you the instructions and it says to uh, take on the role of a Disney villain. And again, I have played this already, so there are a lot of cards, and I'm going to tell you that, a lot of playing cards within this game, so I've separated them out into these bags so that they are a little easier to keep in peace, uh, because there's not really a place to sort it. The cards are really cool, that was Maleficent by the way, um, their cards are really cool, well designed, this one's uh, another one of the characters, this is Prince John, and then we have... And I find it kind of odd that they did use Prince John out of the other options, but he's still a cool character. Captain Hook. And, um, yep, you can see right there on the Captain Hook. This one is going to be the Queen of Hearts. And you can see her little piece there as well as one of the cards. And I'll show you some more of the cards in a little bit. This one is Ursula. You can see her little purple figure here. And, of course, the, again, the cards. I separated them all out. There is one more, and this one I haven't played yet. This one is Jafar, and uh, the cards are still even in the original wrapping. I haven't pulled them out yet. Uh, included also is a few other pieces. That's a fate token, and that's a cauldron that you'll use to put your power chips in. That's what these are called. They're like power tokens. You use these to perform actions throughout the game to either make things happen or to prevent things from happening, to battle, etc. It's kind of cool. And then there are villain guides that'll tell you a little more about each villain and their goal and what special uh, abilities that they do have that you can use throughout the game. And finally, these are what I find really cool. These are the game boards. I'm going to take some out so you can take a look at them. All right, so I've set this one out for you. This is for Ursula. As you can see, it's got her on the front, just as happy as could be. A nice little quote from her on the front as well. And it gives you a little of the objective for Ursula's story that you'd be playing out. And this is, of course, what you've got to do or complete to win the game and have the trident and crown at uh, the end of the game. And we're going to open it up here real quick. And this artwork is amazing, by the way. Just thought I would share that. It looks really good on the board. Um, so you can see the whole board. It's a unique shape it's not a normal board like you would normally expect a board game uh, each board is different so each villain is going to be a little different so this is the sultan's palace streets of agrabah the oasis cave of wonders so each one is going to be slightly bit different it's based more around their locations and here's captain hook's board i really do love the texture of the game boards and the design of the game boards it is the entire board right there. It's so small and it's so unique and I really like that. This is Prince John here and we're gonna look at it. And then my favorite Maleficent. I've played with her uh, a few times now. And I'll explain a little bit about the tokens that are due there on the tops in just a moment. And the Queen of Hearts finally here. And I really like this board. Since I have this board, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit about it. 
These are the spots for the power chips. It's a good multiplayer game, so you'll like that as well. I can imagine if you played it with more than uh, two people, it's going to start to get really complicated and really um, a long game. It's going to take a while to play because it is a good long strategy game if it's played correctly. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to move right on into it here. The, all the symbols on the board do have different options uh, throughout the game, and they can play and reflect differently to cause different things. Uh, you are going to be completing the goal that's here, and you are going to be playing against yourself, but you're also playing against your opponents. So as you're trying to do your tasks to reach your goal, the other person is playing cards up there, and you are fighting off their issues that they're putting on you, and you're also trying to complete your task. And of course, the cards also play into it. So these cards come into play here. This is a hero card. So this would be for the queen. You would put it on the hero side of the board, which is the top half. And it would actually cause an effect so that you, as the player of the red queen, would not be able to use those spots. Or you may have additional issues that you run into during your gameplay. Uh, so it's kind of like, I'm trying to think of a word, it, it's, there's Maleficent again, this is card, I really like that one. I'm trying to think how I can describe, I can't really think of how I describe it, but Maleficent has a little different than uh, Queen of Hearts though. Uh, she does have curses, she has wickets, uh, and that's that. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool, it's a great strategy game. This is pretty much everything that comes with it. Um, if I, I did not video while playing it, uh, but if I do play again in the future, which I'm sure I will, I will try to take a video of it so that you can see it in action. The artwork on it is spectacular. The boards are unique. The card play is different. Um, it's very, it's very unique. It's a very unique strat strategy game that, uh, it's a lot of fun. I bought this one particularly at Walmart, but I know you can get it at Target as well. Um, and, uh, so if you're into board games, if you're into Disney, if you're into strategy games, this is a pretty game, pretty cool game. If you want to learn, go to the video there. Um, I will tell you, it does have a learning curve. Uh, it took, it took about a game and a half to really kind of get into the groove of how to play. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, I hope to see you again soon.